Hey loves, thank y'all so much for joining me tonight. Um, so in continuing with um, the readings, I will be doing um, the Pluto retrograde reading for the sign of Aquarius for tonight's video. We did Libra the last time, and then before that was Gemini, so now we're continuing on with Aquarius. So this is gonna be the air signs. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so, 
So just let me go ahead and get situated and then I can give you your messages for the Pluto retrograde for the sign of Aquarius. Okay guys, so the first message that I'm getting is Curiouser and Curiouser, Discovery, Inquiry, Weirdness, and Curiosity. So you're curious to learn about something new. Um, maybe you want to take on a new project, a new um, venture, whatever, but your curiosity is getting the better of you. So find out more about what it is that you want to do and um, stick you know stick to it and um learn more about it and um go full steam ahead and and maybe you can discover something new about yourself that you didn't even know um that you possessed like a, a hidden talent or something that you um you want to see that you want to express Uh, next message is nonsense. It's time to talk sense. So in this instance, you need to speak up about whatever it is that you are holding back. Um, there's no time to beat around the bush anymore. You have to speak up, um, put your foot down in any situation, um, and make your voice be heard. Uh, next message is a moment's regret, nostalgia, idealizing the past, fearing you've made a mistake. There's something that you haven't fully come to terms with yet. Um, you need to revisit that, um, whatever's holding you back, and um, put it behind you. Because it's only going to hinder your progress. You're not going to move forward if you keep on uh, dwelling on the past. So you need to um, let it go. You need to just come to terms with it and what's in the past is in the past and move forward to bigger and better things. Next message, keep your temper. Don't allow your anger to rule you. Sounds like you're, you've been really upset and short-tempered but you have to learn to control yourself, my Aquariuses. Um, you are the type that you don't get upset easily, but when you do, hold on tight. But in this instance, you have to pull back, re-examine the situation, and then confront it. But don't, like, don't lose your temper. Don't get too out of control uh, because you could end up damaging a relationship. So, um, just what this card is saying, um, take it slow, you know, calm down, reassess the situation, take a deep breath, and then handle it the best way that you can. Next message, all in the golden afternoon, inspiration, creative spark, imagination, and conception. You have a need to express yourself creatively. Go ahead and do it. It's okay. I mean, you you guys as Aquarius, you, you guys are like um, the oddball, so to speak, of the Zodiac. Um, you're like in a different headspace, and that's okay. That's okay. Some of us are, are um, weird, curious about the world around us, and it's okay. It's okay to embrace your creativity, to embrace your weirdness. What other people find weird, you find fascinating, and that's okay. Um, 
Go ahead and embrace it. Do you and forget about what anybody else says. Express yourself in ways that only you know how. And then others will begin to see your creativity and become more drawn to you. Next message, uh, growing up, wanting to grow and experience rejection or perpetual youth. There's a part of you that's still kind of like childlike. You have like that childlike naivete, um, but you're also wanting to learn more, like attach yourself to people who can teach you new things. Um, when you go out in this new venture, you might want to, um, seek out a mentor or uh, whoever, you know, to help you to, uh, branch out. Um, express your feelings on the matter, what you want to do to bring this to fruition. But also, like, this is somebody that you're going to have, like, a really good relationship with. Um, you're going to be able to joke around and whatnot, but also, like, you're going to have that seriousness, too. So it's all, like work and play mixed together um but this person is going to teach you everything that they know about this new venture that you're seeking out believe strange encounters it's the next message you will meet some characters along the way that are going to take um a fancy to you and your your creative your creativeness they're going to feed off of your creative spark and want to know like what it is that, that inspires you they they would want to know more about you be open to that because these people are going to be the ones that are will end up being your close circle of friends so just be be mindful of that that these people will embrace your creativity embrace your weirdness because they themselves are the exact same way. So it's okay. So you guys are gonna get along great and hopefully share ideas on things. And finally, all must have prizes, trying to please everyone. It's the next message. You'll be put in a position, or if you're not already currently in one, to where you feel as though you're having to please everybody to make everyone else happy. But in doing so, you yourself are not happy. Forget about it. You know, you have your own life to live, to forge your own path. You don't need to, to put your life on hold just to make somebody else happy. You do you, boo, and forget about what anybody else says. I mean, if you can tell the expression on her face that she is almost in tears because you can tell that she's sad because she's not wanting to um, to make everybody upset. You know, she wants to make everybody happy, but I mean, that's that's you guys to a fault. I mean, you always put other people before yourself, but... Um, in this instance, what it's saying is that you, you need to think about yourself and not about anybody else. So um, forget about it. I mean, if you want to do for them, fine, but don't overdo it. You know, it's what this is saying. Um, work on yourself. Work on building yourself up. And then maybe later on, you know, little by little, you can start doing things for... Um, for the community or for your family, friends, or whatever the case may be, but don't put too much focus on other people when you should be focusing on yourself. And those are your messages for the Pluto retrograde for the sign of Aquarius. Take what resonates with you and what doesn't. Um, move it along. So I've said before, there are millions of other people out there who are born under, under the sign of Aquarius. So what doesn't resonate with you can resonate with someone else. So as always, I hope you guys found this reading helpful. Um, 
I love you all so much. Thank you all for being uh, with me, my faithful viewers. Um, and may God bless you and take care of you always, watch over you. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.